Let us look at an example of formulating an LP model for a diet mix problem. A kitchen manager at ABC hospital has to decide the food mix for the patients. So basically he has to decide what should he give for food to the patients. Dietary instructions are that each patient must get at least 1 gram of protein, 1 gram of fat and 3 grams of carbohydrates. Additional instructions are that in no case the carbohydrate content should exceed 6 grams per patient. The availability of protein, fat and carbohydrate in grams per kg of chicken, rice and bread is as given below. So now we have been given that there are three basic type of food that this kitchen manager can prepare for the patients. Chicken, rice and bread. And we have been given that in each kg of chicken there are 10 grams of protein, 2 grams of fat and 0 grams of carbohydrates. In each kg of rice there is 2 gram of protein, 1 gram of fat and 15 grams of carbohydrates. And in each kg of bread there is 2 grams of protein, 0 grams of fat and 10 grams of carbohydrates. Also we have been given that the price per kg for chicken is 30 rupees price per kg for rice is 5 rupees and price per kg for bread is 4 rupees now we are being asked to formulate a suitable mathematical model for the above diet mix assuming 100 patients on that day in order to minimize the cost so basically we have to be able to meet all these conditions for the protein fat carbohydrates using chicken rice and bread in such a way that the overall cost is minimized so this cost should be the minimum and we have to do that for 100 patients so this is the information that has been provided to us in this example. Now the first step in formulating a linear programming model is to decide on the decision variables. So here we have to find the quantity of chicken, rice and bread to be used for the diet of 100 patients. So let's consider x as the quantity in kgs of chicken to be used, y as the quantity in kgs of rice to be used and z or z as the quantity in kgs of bread to be used. So here x, y and z or z are the decision variables. Now the next step is to define the objective function. Now the objective here is to minimize the cost of the diet mix. That is the cost of the material to be used in the food being given to the patients which is basically the cost of chicken, rice and bread. Now in the example we have been given that the cost of 1 kg 
of chicken is 30 rupees so 1 kg is 30 rupees and we are considering that we need x kgs of chicken for the diet of 100 patients so for x kgs how much is the cost let's say this is x1 so x1 into 1 is equal to 30 times x basically cross multiplication similarly 1 kg of rice costs 5 rupees so y kgs of rice will cost 5y and 1 kg of bread costs 4 rupees so z kgs of bread will cost 4z so the total cost of x y and z quantities of chicken rice and bread respectively is 30x plus 5y plus 4z let's say this is c so c is equal to 30x plus 5y plus 4z and the objective here is to minimize C. Now the next step is to list down the constraints. Now the first constraint given to us is that each patient should get at least one gram of protein. Now here in this problem we are looking at 100 patients. So in all we have to have 100 grams of protein for the 100 patients now we have considered the quantity of chicken as x quantity of rice as y and quantity of bread as z now each kg of chicken has 10 grams of protein so x kgs of chicken will have 10x grams of protein similarly each kg of rice has 2 grams of protein so y kgs of rice will have 2y grams of protein and each kg of bread has 2 grams of protein so z kgs of bread will have 2 times z grams of protein so the total protein for x y and z quantity of chicken rice and bread respectively will be 10x plus 2y plus 2z and now we are being given this condition that the total protein should at least be 100 grams so this protein amount should be greater than or equal to 100 so this is our first constraint so now let's move on to the second constraint so the second constraint says that each patient must get at least one gram of fat so at least one gram of fat per patient now we have 100 patients so for 100 patients the total fat required is 100 grams now we know that 1 kg of chicken has 2 grams of fat so x kgs of chicken will have 2x grams of fat similarly 1 kg of rice has 1 gram of fat so y kgs of rice will have 1 into y grams of fat and 1 kg of bread has no fat so z kgs will also not have any fat so the total fat is 2x plus 1y so 2x plus y and 
this should be greater than or equal to 100 because at least 100 grams of fat should be present in the food. Now let's move to the third constraint. So third constraint says that each patient must get at least 3 grams of carbohydrates. So at least 3 grams of carbohydrates. So for 100 patients it will be 3 in 200 which is 300 grams for 100 patients. Now we have been given that 1 kg of chicken has no carbohydrates so x kg will also not have any carbohydrates. 1 kg of rice has 15 grams of carbohydrates so y kgs will have 15 y. 1 kg of bread has 10 grams of carbohydrates so z kgs will have 10 z. So the total carbohydrate for x kgs of chicken, y kgs of rice and z kgs of bread is 15 y plus 10 z and this has to be greater than or equal to 300. Now let's move to the fourth condition. So the fourth condition is that the carb content, the carbohydrate content should not exceed 6 grams per patient. So here it said in the third condition that it should be at least 3 grams of carbohydrate per patient and the fourth condition says that the carbohydrate content should not exceed 6 grams. So carb should not exceed 6 grams per patient. What this means is that the total carb for 100 patients should not exceed 600 grams for 100 patients. So now the carb content for x kgs of chicken, y kgs of rice and z kgs of bread is this which is 15 y plus 10 z and here because the total carb content should not exceed 600 grams so this should be less than or equal to 600. So this is our fourth condition. And then our fifth condition is the condition which applies to all LP models. That is all the decision variables should be greater than or equal to 0. So x, y and z should be greater than or equal to 0. So this is the LP model formulation for this problem.